Yeah, so here's the gearbox from the RGB 250 VJ22. Uh, the reason why I've got it apart is if you can see, this is the gearbox output shaft, which is where your front sprocket resides. Um, if you look kind of closely there, uh, you can see that it's worn away. It's a bit hard to, to see in the camera there. This is my front sprocket there. Um, I'll put that on just so you can see what it looks like. Yeah, so that's what it would, that's, you can see there, there's a little bit of play on that front section, but when you slip it into the bit where the sprocket actually sits, um, obviously I'm trying to see the movement there. And that's very bad. And I could feel that as a vibration under sort of a constant speed on the highway, 100k an hour. When you, you weren't accelerating or decelerating, it would be just, you could feel a vibration there uh, through the drive line. It's very disconcerting. Uh, it feels like the back wheel is going to come off or something. When, you throw, when you're accelerating, obviously there's load on that. So it's sort of going one way. Um, this will be driving and it, it takes it away. Likewise, when you're decelerating. But the more you drive like that, the more this shaft just wears um, and ends up shooting itself. So this is the whole reason why I am doing this work on it. Basically, I've got to replace this shaft. So um, I'll show you how in this video how this gearbox works because I wanted, well, since I had it apart, I wanted to figure out how everything works. Um, so I decided to get it out, put it on the some jaws, soft jaws on the vice, and you know attach the shift linkage. This is a spare. Um, linkage that I had, which I've just put on there, um, so I can explain how it works. Now you can see I've got a pretty nifty Povo camera setup, so I'll be able to show the gearbox in motion. Um, basically, the parts of the gearbox you can put shaft there that bolts under the clutch, and there um, that's the front plate of the gearbox, which bolts into the bike. Um, and obviously, it's only held on, on this end by the bearings here. Um, when it's in the in the bike, these there's, there's a bearing on each end, so it's it'll obviously shift a lot smoother and work a lot smoother when it is in the bike. But uh, at least for this video, I can show you how it works. You've got your your shift linkage here. I won't explain that in this video. It's a bit once you have it apart, you can see how it works. Um, you've got like a ratchet system in there, um, and this basically moves up and down. You know when you when you turn the gears, you'll see that a little bit in the video. Um, the next part. Uh, it's all spring load. I didn't really want to pull it apart because there's nothing wrong with it. Um, I sort of don't want to upset things that don't need to be upset. You've got your shift drum here, which is responsible for the shift pattern, um, which moves these shift forks. You've got this pattern, this one here, between on these two fixed, fixed. They're fixed on the shaft, they're spline, but they can move left and right, which are, they got, you can see the dogs on each end of them, which in, this will engage with this gear, this will engage with that gear through the dogs. Um, and then if you look for you can see the other two shift forks just behind. There's one there and there's one back there too. Okay, so the gearbox, you've got your input shaft and your output shaft is where the sprocket goes. Um, if I hold the drive shaft or sprocket shaft still and I turn the input shaft, you can see which gears are the idler gears because they'll be, they'll be still turning. So you can see this gear, these two gears here, and this gear, they're all idlers. So the dogs are the ones that are currently still, which is this one and this one. They're on splines and they can move left to right to select the gears. Likewise, if I hold the input shaft still um, and I turn it, turn the sprocket shaft, you can see which ones are the idlers on the input shaft. And the idlers are this one here and this one here. The rest are fixed. This, these are fixed, but they're on splines and they move to select the gears, either this one or this one. This one's actually splined on um, to, to aid us. You need to have, you know, you need to, be able to pull that off to get all the other gears on. Uh, but this one in here, which is the first gear, uh, that's actually machined into the shaft, so that can't be changed. You've got to change the whole shaft. Okay, we'll go through the gears. Currently neutral. I can hold that still. First gear is one down. That's first gear. So this dog has moved across to drop to lock that idler. So you got that pair is, that's locked to the shaft now. So you got first gear. Let's see, we'll go to second gear. That's second gear, and you can see this one's moved across to drive this idler, so that, well, to lock this idler onto the shaft, which is now being driven by this gear here, which is your second gear combination. 
third. That's third now. So that this uh, this fixed gear, which is on the spline, that moved across, and it's now locking this idler to the shaft, which has been driven by this gear, which is for the fixed fixed gear on this shaft. So that's, that's your third gear pair there. So we'll go to fourth gear. Fourth gear now. Likewise, this is your fourth gear set here. That dog has moved across and is now locking this idler to the drive shaft. So that's your fourth gear. That's fifth. As you can see, this moved across to drive their spline. That's driving that idler or locking that idler to this shaft, which is now driving this fifth gear set, driven gear which is locked to the shaft there. That's fifth. And sixth. Likewise, that's just moved across. That's this fixed fixed gear set, fixed dog I guess, is now locking this idler, which is the sixth driven gear, and it's locking it to the um, the, the fixed dog on the output shaft, which is now locking this gear with that gear, because it's sixth gear. We'll try and go down the gear, so it's in sixth, fifth, fourth, third, second, for neutral. And that's that. That's how the gearbox works.